right there is the, uh, the smaller version of the 1964 BMAC. I'm going to go in chronological order. Now, you're going to notice uh, something. Here is the mini version of the 1966 um, Hess Voyager uh, boat. The one thing that I did not do um, on this display case is use the original 64 and 66, uh, you know, BMAC and boat. That would have taken up, you know, one whole line. And quite frankly, they're just too expensive to, to transport with me, you know, from every toy show, uh, you know, all throughout 2020. So I used the mid-sized BMAC, uh, which is the um, 2004 Special Edition uh, secondary vehicle. I put that over here, all right, little raised platform. Going in order, like I said, uh, this is the mini version of the um, 1966 uh, Hess Voyager. Every show, I get at least a couple of people coming up to me going, ooh, the ship, always, all the time. Moving on, um, now this truck is very expensive. This is the chemicals version, okay, chemicals version of the 1967 red velvet uh, the reason why this truck is in here being you know with its value is because it has its own display case uh, excuse me display base and uh, it, it doesn't it, do, it just doesn't move around so I feel safe you know transporting that everywhere um, this is the same truck for 1968 and 69 so moving on so down here is the very, very popular um, 1970 Hess Pumper, okay? And uh, this is a very, very popular model that a lot of people, um, you know, compliment me on. Uh, previously, I've had my custom version in here, but I decided to go classic and, and put the original. The 1972 and 74 trucks, again, are just like uh, the 60s trucks with round feet instead of... Um, square uh, didn't have enough space uh, moving on here is the 1976 uh, 1975 and 1976 are very similar um, most notably uh, barrels without labels would be 75 technically this is a four barrel 75 five four ring five ring and this is actually a 87 barrel wanted to just show it what it looks like so representing the Classic box trucks, uh, 1975 and 1976 is this. Moving on, representing um, my my very first truck that my dad got me is the 1977 and 78, um, what I call the Red Foot Tanker. Okay, now this is as if you people that know my story is is uh, the truck that my dad got me, um, and this is always you know displayed prominently. As usual, you know, as you can see on the uh, on the back, 1977, um, as opposed to the 1978. And moving on to the 80s, um, right here, the mini, the 1980 Hess training van. Um, you know, contrary, even though on the bottom it says 1978, there's a whole story about that. This is always known as the 1980 training van. And let me tell you, if there is one truck every single show that I do that people come over and point out, it is this piece right here, the 1980 training van. Now, moving on from that would be the 1982 and 83, and also 85 as a bank first truck. What I'm using uh, instead of that is the 2000. Uh, 18 collector's edition which uh, essentially adds more LED lights and and does a lot of co cool cool things like a uh, lighted license plate um, you know it just it's just a beautiful representation but part of the reason why I use this collector's edition is also because of those lights underneath and those lights underneath as you can see well light up some good shiny stuff which I'm going to show in a minute all right, so that's representing the 1982, 83, and 85. Um, you know, the 1986 is right here, the red fire uh, truck. 
Now, this particular one uh, happens to uh, be very gold. That's not something that Hess made, but this discoloration of the um, of the chrome is uh, well, it's very um, desirable by some collectors. It really just adds a nice little touch. So you can see the gold very clear right there. Okay, still have the tag in there. So this is my uh, 1986 fire truck. This right here is a mini. Uh, it's the 1998 Mini, but really it's a Mini of the 1990 White Hess uh, Tanker. And if you're, uh, if you're a fan of that, up here in the uh, corner here, yeah, I'm going to put a little uh, link to a video that says, hey, if you like that tanker, you're going to love this one. And I'm going to show, uh, you know, basically what that truck would look like, you know, really advanced. Moving on... Um, 91, 92, 93. I decided to uh, include this one in here because um, it's when I started collecting, it was the first uh, vehicle uh, that I, you know, got into. It was very difficult, so it's memorable for me. It also fits nicely uh, with the, the contrasting red and white. It fits this way because uh, it's a short uh, vehicle. Um, the 1993 patrol car, interestingly enough, turns out was based on a, uh, a real Hess vehicle. Moving on to 2014 collector's edition is this beauty where they took a modern uh, Volvo inspired Hess truck and, you know, added uh, this vehicle inside it. What I did was um, I just threw some um, oil barrels in there. You can see some green, you can see the with the label, and then some chrome ones which were uh, custom done. So that's, uh, that's a little nice beauty. And again, this collector's edition, because of the uh, lights underneath, really dis you know, display some really shiny trucks, which I'm going to show you right now. Um, going in order here, okay, this is a mini version of this, which is the... Uh, 1964 BMAC. This is the 2004 Mini, chromed. This was done custom. Uh, this is a chrome uh, of the of the Voyager. Okay, again, uh, custom. And then uh, the 98 uh, Mini chromed, which is this right here. All right, so I put those all there, and, and they look really nice and shiny and pretty under these lights. And uh, that's the that's the reason for that. Moving over right here is the Chrome uh, 2006. Um, this is the mini special edition that was given out when uh, Hess Amarada Hess changed their name to Hess Corporation in May of 2006. So that's what that is. And then finally, uh, last but not least, is a custom that was sent to me, one of two. And this is a, uh, a metal, and it's not even metal, it's like die cast, it's very heavy. And it was cast molded by a gentleman named Bill uh, Lango. And Bill is responsible for us uh, doing that six years of annual meetups with uh, Hess Toy Truck Collectors. He had a show, a toy show, always invited us. Um, Bill passed uh, last year, so unfortunately we don't have that anymore. He sent that to me, and he also sent this. It's a uh, Hess uh, Ambulance, custom made. Uh, I made the little backdrop just to add a little to it. Again, it's very heavy. Let me see if I can get it out. And uh, as you can see, it's cast molded, put together by him. He sent me that a couple of years ago. And I decided to just sh you know, show him off. If it, if it wasn't for Bill, I wouldn't have known about uh, Create Space, um, which is part of Amazon, who uh, publishes my encyclopedia books. So um, I really wanted to say thank you to, um, uh, to Bill because he did a lot for us. Um, you're also going to notice some colors. Um, I recently did this just for fun to show off the colors, you know, the classic colors of green and yellow and red and white. And I just recently put those down. Um, like I said, normally all the pieces are see-through and the back is um, mirrored, which looks beautiful at the live shows, but just a little bit difficult uh, when you're trying to do any type of video, like 
now and any pictures. So um, thank you for taking this little tour. This is my little uh, main display case that um, I take with me to all the toy shows. And um, this is uh, the creme de la creme. It's definitely um, my proudest pieces. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, please uh, feel free to check out my other videos about other trucks. And uh, I think you'll enjoy those too. Alrighty. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.